All right, y'all, what's going on? What's going on? So today I'm doing another challenge, okay? I'm doing the triple decker double burger challenge that was created by Get Lit with Mo and Rasta. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Even if you aren't, if you haven't subscribed, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. Leave us some comments down below. Let us know things I see is trapped, things I see is cooked. Interact with us because we do like to hear from you. I'm going to say grace and get started. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that we're about to receive for nourishment of our bodies and health. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so I was tagged by uh, Maria at MRTV to do this challenge, okay? I saw Bob do it. I watched Get Lit With Mo the video. Um, who else I saw? I seen uh, Vickiana. I seen Vickiana do it. All right, so the challenge is you have to have three patties. You have to have three condiments, three components, um and then you have to have three mystery ingredients and then yeah you don't have to finish it you just gotta have all the ingredients of the burger so i had i made this black bean veggie burger that i've been wanting to make for a long time literally years and i was just like oh i'm about to make it for this challenge so i do got three pat patties you can't really i don't know they just kind of like I, probably, I don't know anywho it's three patties on here i did make three patties i have oh you have to have three cheeses so the cheeses i have are provolone uh cheddar and what else i got gouda and then i the three condiments are um uh, mamba sauce maya uh miracle whip and um the uh what's it called truffle hot sauce and then my three components, lettuce, tomato, and let's say bacon. And then my three mystery ingredients are um, avocado, the onion ring, and pickles. Okay, I think I got it all, okay? All right, so we are gonna try to get into this. Maybe I should cut it in half. Now, I know y'all like, how you gonna make a veggie burger and I put bacon on it? And I was gonna put an egg on it, but I was just, well, I was gonna make it completely like at least try to make it mostly vegetarian but this one uh i feel like doing this is gonna make it, make it just completely fall apart but i was this one um like vegan bacon i was gonna get they didn't have it at the store so i was just like oh well put real bacon on there and that's gonna be that on that all right i can't really see i'm gonna try but i was feeling that though this burger is just messy. Look at it, it's just falling apart, but. Ooh. Mm. Oh man. I totally stole the bottom bun from the other the other side. <laughs> Dang it. What the hell is it? I feel like I can't put it down. Mm. I'm gonna have some because. Mm. That's good. Um, that veggie, um, it's good. It's got, it's black beans, mostly black, black beans and, mu and mushrooms. But there is, um, I'm really talking about, um, there, hold on, I need to focus. I ain't gonna be able to get that under there, I don't think. I don't know, we'll see. There is uh, broccoli. What else? Yeah, broccoli in there. <laughs> in addition to the mushrooms and the, um, 
black beans. I, I gotta have my mustard, I mean, not my mustard, ketchup and ranch. You know, I be mixing up words. <laughs> I mean, just like, sometimes my mind, I be thinking one thing and something else come out. Like, uh, I think when I was, I don't know, like if I say, I like I just said ketchup, I meant to say mustard. I mean, I said mustard, but I meant to say ketchup. Okay. I need to own this one. Okay, my, my avocado's still on there. Uh, I shouldn't have put it down. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh. I promise her I love three patties on her. <laughs> so I feel like this is how everybody burger was. It was just falling apart. I can't imagine if I'd have put an egg on here, it'd have been on the floor. You know, let me drop the food. I love, um, I love like a, a barbecue bacon burger. Or like some cheese. And, uh... Like if I if I'm in the mood for a burger and I see that on the menu, that's definitely probably what I'm gonna get. That or like a um like a Santa Fe type of burger, like a um, Tex Mex. Do you got avocado, like pico on it or something like that. Shout out to um, get a little more, bringing another another challenge out here. Oh, I definitely missed some challenges. <laughs> um, like over definitely probably over the past year. This is that, um, I got the Daya, like, cheddar style cheese. I'm t man, that cheese is so good. I originally, well, when I was trying to find cheeses for the Bubby to eat, because, you know, he like, to well, not like toast and he's allergic to cow dairy. But, uh, man, I had tried to use the shredded Daya. It's not the, the, shredded, the shredded cheddar. It's not too bad. It's a fly in here, and it's getting on my nerves. But um, I have one of my co, my care group members, <laughs> uh, her daughter was doing this pop-up shop. Now, RP of her, man, let's say I'll tell you about her in a minute. But um, she was doing this vegan pop-up shop and she made some mac and cheese with that diet cheddar style cheese. And I was like, whoa, like, first of all, it smelled good. It smelled so good. Excuse me, it uh, tastes real good too. All right, sorry about that. I should have known it wasn't going to be too long from for now that I, my phone would tell me I was out of story. Cause I, but I, I had quite a bit of uh, videos on there, though, that I hadn't deleted. Okay, but what I was going to say was, um, she passed away last year, I think. Uh, Because of a hit and run, man. In Atlanta, there's some 
um, because it was a street that basically was problematic and like people have, I think multiple people have gotten like hit and or killed at this intersection or whatever. And like, they're like, they're still trying to, you know, find out who, um, who did it, you know what I'm saying? It's so, it's sad. And she, she died, I, did she die on the scene or? Like they left her there, like, you know what I'm saying? Which was like, nobody like didn't call help or anything. You know, she had just got finished um, becoming a flight attendant. I forget what airline, but she had just became a flight under her wings. Now, you know, became a flight attendant. And um, it was awesome because, I don't know, I just thought she, I didn't think, or not think, no, like she was just trying to like figure out what she wanted to do or whatever. Like it was a lot of, she, she was very ambitious, like wanted to do a whole lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. She finally found something that, you know, she was like, would really enjoy. So, yeah, I'll have to her. Hmm. She put me on satin. This burger is really good. I got I got this recipe off Facebook. Like I said years ago, I've been wanting to make it, and uh, somebody on my friends with somebody said, I think they had shared it after they had made it. I so said it was super good, and I had been meaning to make it. Oh, I got it turned upside down like this. I guess to really. You can kind of see my patties are separated by cheese. <laughs> but the mixture is good. I think maybe I needed to add, like, well, mom, when I, so you have to smash some, um, or mash some black beans first, and then you add whole ones in there. And my mashed ones ain't really look as juicy as theirs will look at. So I don't know if you need to, if you're supposed to keep the, the juice or whatever. But that was the thing. I'm going to we'll get all the veggies in there. Then you gotta put some eggs in there and breadcrumbs and oats. And maybe I needed like another egg or two to really bind it together. But I got some um, extra that I'm gonna put in the freezer for For another time, and maybe I might, you know, experiment and try to add another egg and see if that helps. I'm eating my burger at five down, y'all. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was good. It's got some really good flavor. <laughs> I was cracking up when I was watching Get a Little Mo video because they are talking about Carly. And I can't believe I never, I ain't said nothing about them. I don't know. I mean, I saw the headlights on the shade room. That's where I get my news from. Okay. Unless I'm following somebody directly. <laughs> no, but uh, I don't really know what to make of it. I didn't really hear. I, re I remember seeing posts when. Like people like Tamika, I think her name is Tamika D. Mallory, but she's like a 
definitely well known, like, um, you know, activist or whatever. And um, she had posted about her. I forget, maybe some other people had posted about her and how it wasn't getting any media coverage. Like, she was missing, but, you know, the submarine or whatever, that whole situation got more coverage than this missing girl or whatever. I'm did hear, you know, that about the the baby on the side of the road or whatever. And how she, you know, was allegedly abducted after that, but child, this whole thing crazy. It's so messy. I just wanna know what the motivation behind it is. You wanna be famous or like so it's like they were saying. Or more so Rasta. She went off, okay? She was not happy, okay? But but facts though, because she was talking about how people, you know, it's wasted resources that people use, that they use to look for her and stuff like that. And how it really be people out here missing. Like it's still, you know, heck of people out here missing for real. And you making a mockery of this or whatever, you know? You know, the girl who cried wolf, but Probably, but like, mm, I don't know, but now this is her mugshot. She was smiling in the mugshot. Child. Mm But I also, I've realized that I didn't know everything about the story because I didn't understand why people were posting like, uh, you know how that, that meme where uh, Homer Simpson goes into the, or like backs into a bush and comes out a different person. Well, they were doing that with her, and with Carly and Jesse Smollett. Smollett? How do you say his name? Smollett? Because you know, they was, they were saying that he lied about what happened to him or whatever, which... Did that turn out to be, did he really lie or what? I don't really know. Clearly he probably, I, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I'm cracking myself up, I'm holding this, but. How I have to hold it. Um. Let's see how I'm going to tag three people. And I feel like the people I would have tagged, they already, I know I saw Nadira do it. I think um, Lady Red did it. I don't know if I've seen anybody tag CJ and Sharice. I'm sure they probably been tagged already by now.
Uh, I'm gonna tag it. No, it's not gonna be. We do mostly vlogs now. But I'm tagging man. And you know, put it in your and put it in your vlog, but then you know, upload it on um TikTok. I don't know. I'm gonna try that's the Michael. And I'm gonna try buy your kitchen bag again too. So. I told y'all he's silent silent challenge killer now. Um, what else am I gonna tag? I don't know. I don't know. I thought I'd pass my beer and get stuck in the box. I can't think. I can't think. That's what I thought I'd think now. I ain't ate all day, so this was. I was getting hungry. A little labor intensive, though. So, yeah. No. <laughs> but worth it because it's good. Like I said, I got some more. Um, hmm. To make another time. Mm. I'm truly well good. I'm glad I finally made it. I finally sure I'm telling you, I've been that has been on my like save for later list on Facebook for so long. Was it two five in there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so short and sweet concise. Sorry, I'm I'd be daydreaming. Um, you gotta have three patties. Three condiments, three components slash toppings, three mystery ingredients, and three different cheeses. And tag three people. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was good. Definitely good and full now. All right, y'all. But that's it. And that's all. I'm a peace out on y'all. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave us some comments down below. Let us know things you like to see us try, things you like to see us cook. Interact with us because if you like to hear from you, and subscribe to the channel. Go and subscribe and hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Oh, excuse me. My hair freezing.